Hello, my name is Blair and welcome to another OS, Operating System. Today we're gonna take a look into this operating system called Pika OS. So good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another OS operating system. Today we're gonna take a look at our first look into Pika 22.10 yes this is an OS I never had uh, shared to you I heard this one but unfortunately I haven't been uh, get into this type of OS for the past few months so anyway uh, I heard this uh, some of my friends some of my how to say this one uh, youtubers uh, there is a small things in mind that this distribution you have to understand this distribution is not to be considered as Ubuntu flavor this is hobby type of distribution so this is not formal don't have formal support uh, will not be guaranteed for those who are using this Pika OS although Pika OS might be providing uh, identical patches and user experience from the Nobara project we are not directly part of them at the same time there is an information inf that you have to get into this uh, consideration first before you start this OS and of course uh, it will take like five to ten minutes uh, after you uh, partition this and do not uh, do anything because it will if you interrupt it will end up with corrupt file and at the same time uh, Pika OS is using Pikman uh, instead of the APT when you are using the terminal it is much faster you understand the X1 drive downloads uh, need binary locally and does not directly package or distributed any copyrighted framework and of course other related data and number seven in case you need to log in info for this session of course I'm just using this in our virtual box and the username will be Pika OS and password at the same time it will be Pika OS so let's okay and continue this is by the way the KDE plasma uh, ooh, it requires a lot so let's just uh, cancel this but let's try to American English so this requires a at least uh, 40 gig to install so I was just gonna yeah I won't install this one but I gonna I just uh, look into this OS so yes let's try to see what is in our Pika OS application in all application so we have some arc uh, a dolphin driver manager uh, emojis and of course the uh, file light which is the drive user statistics and oh I thought oh why they are using the KDE okay there it is the KDE partition magic and at the same time they have the G parted for the internet they have the Firefox web browser For the development, of course, they have the Kate text editor. For graphics, we have the Gwen, du uh, Gwen Viewer. For the internet, of course, we have the uh, web apps. Ooh, it comes with a web app. Uh, for multimedia, they have the MPV Media Player. For Office, of course, they, they have only Ocular for the document viewer. Uh -huh. let me see how about this one uh, the systems system the system of course 
the Jeep parted. Dolphin. And many more. In utilities, we have also the Kalk with a K. How about the calculator? No, no. They don't have. Lost and found. Uh, some. Okay. So anyway, it's uh, basically like a. Um, it's basically it's just KDE Ubuntu blah 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 thing. Hmm. Let us see. So they have the dark mode, the light mode. How about the appearance? What are the appearance available right here? Uh, breeze, fusion. Oh, Microsoft Windows 9X Oxygen. We have also the plasma style. Yeah. How about the color scheme? How about the window decoration? Is it like this or like that? Fonts, icons. What are the icons available? Oh, there's so many. So yeah, they have a lot right here. Even the cursor. Let me see. Oh yeah. Wow, they have the yellow. Okay, feedback. No, no problem. Oh, splash. Oh, the breeze. Yeah, that's the breeze. Exit. Let me see what is their wallpaper. Let's try to wallpaper. No, it can't. Maybe it's okay. There it is. So let's try to. Oh, cool. They have the Debian. Or oh, I mean the Debian. <laughs> they have the Debian. Uh, let me see. Let's minimize this one. But wait, why is it? It's like that. Oh, there it is. It's basically Debian. This one, the space fun. The space fun. Mouse action. No. Oh. So yeah, basically it's just cool. It's uh, basically a KDE with Ubuntu type of of this distro which is the pika os and i haven't tried what is this okay let's go to the website of pika i'm curious about this os Cool bird. Uh oh, return a, return a little bit. So let's talk about this based on the ZDNet. Pika OS is the next generation Linux distribution that aims specifically towards gamers. Wow. So. Uh, testing the new uh, distro, which is right now, I think it is uh, comparable with the Nubara Linux. It's up to do with the base of Ubuntu Fedora, Debian, and something like that. 
So, although I'm not a hardcore gamer as these uh, this so-called uh, uh, contributor for the ZDNet.com, uh, the gamer trend to be uh, regulated to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, yeah, I can seriously appreciate the developers team and opted the uh, opted the to make gaming on Linux easier. So it is uh, basically ah. So they have the update right here, the libraries and codecs and NVIDIA software so manager, web apps and so on and so forth. Wow. So basically this is focus on this uh, so-called gaming plus uh, PicoS utilities in a meta package is installed with... Wow. Okay. With all these gaming apps and and uh, dependency Microsoft is also like the fonts emulator is also there the blender for the creative 3d image OBS for streaming KD and oh, Kaden live for the non-linear video editing uh, Krita for painting and LibreOffice for productivity did I see no. Maybe if you install this one, you will have the uh, LibreOffice and so on and so forth. Oh, okay. This is for the genome. How about that? So let's close this one. So, yeah. Okay. Your new Linux distro, Pika OS, is a gaming focus Linux distribution focusing on easy uh, to use compatibility using the known how the Novara comparable to the of course uh, Ubuntu based uh, Pika OS is the most unrivaled software compatible this is the oh this is the genome I have the uh, KDE. Uh -huh. Interesting. Why is it the bird? So the name of the mascot is what? Oh, oh, oh! Something like that. <laughs> Who doesn't love the little guy? Oh. All right. Giving out of the box, PicoS is set up to able as painless or pain-free as possible. Linux gaming out of the box. With of course, we include the best drivers for your hardware. Either bake into your OS onto the OS and installable through our welcome app. Excellent performance combination of the up-to-date driver and custom tweaks. Kernel means the POS is fast. And of course, uh, excellent compatibility due to the Ubuntu base and custom patches. Pika OS has high level of software and hardware compatibility. Open source all our code all of our code can be found in our GitHub and our PPAs are available on Launchpad. Contributors are welcome. Update. Okay, so they have the KDE genome and of course the global is I think this genome. Yeah. So they added swap option for the installer. NeoFetch added on R. So I downloaded the KDE. So nice. So anyway, that's it. Our OS operating system. First look into Pika OS. It is a short video. Probably is the shortest video that I have. 
because it is on the test phase no it is on the test uh, uh, live uh, user uh, via the virtual box right here on your Pika OS first look. I am Blair for your first look OS. Pika OS. I hope you enjoy this video. Give us like and if you have some questions, please do comment down below. This is OS Operating System. Our first look into Pika OS. Catch another episode of OS next time. If you have some question and do want to check this OS, the website is pika-os.com. So that's for now for our OS operating system. I hope you enjoy our first look into this operating system called Pika OS, another Linux distribution, which is very interesting for the fact that it is for gamers and easy to navigate and easy to set up gaming computers so anyway that's it for now i'm blair for your os operating system a first look into this pika os linux see you in the next episode